Hello Royals, my name is Daniel Drake. What's up Royals, my name is Zach. Today is a special day, not only for our school, but for our country. We're here to celebrate the men and women who fought for our country and fought for our freedom. And so, we'd like to present this joint project between Royals Week in Review and ASB. We have our virtual Veterans Day Assembly. To start off today, we have the Kent Meridian Band. Next up, it's our security officer, Mr. Hoagland. He serves in the United States Coast Guard and he's here to share with us his thoughts on Veterans Day. As many of you know, my name's Todd and I'm the uh, safety service officer here at Camp Meridian High School. But what many of you don't know, I'm also a drilling reservist for the United States Coast Guard and once a month I go by Seaman Hoagland rather than Todd. Growing up, I initially didn't really ever consider the military as an option. I always wanted to play college soccer, that was my dream. So I ended up doing that. I went to PLU for four years and played college soccer there. And after that, I wanted to continue my education, so I decided to go to Seattle U and get my master's degree. While there, I worked a night shift for two years and went to school full time, and I eventually ended up getting that degree. But I still kind of had a higher purpose in my life. I wanted to find something that really spoke to me and made it feel like I was making a difference. And luckily, I had an internship in grad school and while there I met a lieutenant commander in the United States Coast Guard who spoke very highly of its reserve component and I figured I might as well just take a chance and really see what happens and actually finally join the military and reap all those benefits and those friendships. So this past summer I went to the Coast Guard's direct entry petty officer training program. It's a three week condensed basic training for older people like myself that have life experience, different educations, uh, different work backgrounds, professional experiences. And while there in my class, I had doc, or, uh, IT consultants for Microsoft, teachers, science teachers, PE teachers, SWAT team members, sheriffs, special agents, uh, construction contractors. So it was a really diverse group, and it was just a, they designed this program for people from different backgrounds to come and join the military. And after that boot camp, I joined my actual unit, which is Port Security Unit 313 in Everett, Washington. It's a deployable Special Forces unit for the Coast Guard. So we don't wear the traditional Coast Guard blues. We wear actually the Navy's greens. They're camouflage uniforms. And our job, basically, is that anytime the Navy is sent to war, 
We are also sent and we uh, guard both the ports on land and sea, so just to provide a defensive perimeter for that. And our current deployment rotation are nine month uh, deployments to Guantanamo Bay where we guard high value detainees in Cuba. Many of these detainees there played a role in 9-11, so we go to the ports just to basically monitor that and make sure there's nobody coming in and out that shouldn't be there. And just for the military benefits that I've occurred just in a few months since joining, I get to go on base for tax-free, anything I want to buy. I get great secondary health benefits, which are amazing, very cheap. I get life insurance, it's great. I also get the chance, once I get more active duty time, to uh, qualify for a VA loan, which is basically you can buy a house at a very good loan rate. And then also eventually I can get the GI Bill, which I'm not going to use myself because I've already gotten a master's degree and work, worked really hard to get that, but I can eventually pass that on to a child one day or a significant other and have them go to college for free. And my recruiting speech is over, but I highly encourage anybody who's ever been interested in the military, at least just give it a little bit more thought. Think about any type of branch. There's great branches out there. All of them have their own positives, and it's really something you should look into. It can be a very good option. If I could do it all over again, I would have joined the United States Coast Guards Academy, which is basically their college, and I could have played college soccer there. I could have had school for free, and I could have came out with a very good job right out of college. But... I was a little late to join that, but I'm still very proud of what I do now, and it's been great so far. And my main message for Veterans Day is thank a veteran. You have no idea how much that means coming from the end of generation to people that have served overseas. I don't want you to thank me for my service. I really just joined a couple months ago, so I haven't done that much or achieved that much in my military career yet. But think about the people who have spent years away from family, loved ones, husbands, wives, kids, and seeing their brothers and sisters die in combat and seeing unimaginable things. And just that thank you from the younger generation can mean a whole lot more than you really think. And you have until the age of 37 to decide if you want to join the military. Like I said, I was a little bit late, but I want you to take each and every day as a responsibility to actually thank a veteran when you see them for their service. Thank you. Next up, we're going to be hearing from some of our veteran staff members. As I reflect on my service to the country, I find myself in a constant pursuit of reattaining the meaningfulness of those years. I chase the feeling that I had when my profession involved working in challenging conditions with teams of people to solve big problems whose scope exceeded my personal gain. Electronics Technician 3rd Class, United States Coast Guard. I served six and a half years in the military, which was one of the greatest honors of my life. I was young and unsure of what I wanted to do with my life. The military gave me the skills and experience I needed to obtain the life that I have today. I owe more to the military than I can ever give back. Hi, I'm Tracy Hunter. I was an operations specialist first class, that's an E6 in the Navy from 1992 to 2010. Uh, being in the Navy to me was serving my country and being a part of something much bigger than myself. I've had the opportunity to travel to 18 countries on four continents and experience some amazing things in my life. I proudly served in the United States Navy. I was a supply officer. I handled, uh, oversaw the accounting, uh, dispersing. I spent uh, nine years, eight months, and 23 days, but who's counting? I had a great time. I would do it all over again. I had a blast. I had a blast serving my country, and it's something that it, I can look back at and say, you know, I did something that was worthwhile, amongst other things, of course. What Veterans Day means to me is commemorating and celebrating all the veterans that served in the military and fought for our freedom. Veterans Day means freedom and sacrifice and to honor those who served in the military. Veterans Day is a day to honor those who have served and fought for our country, and I just want to say thank you to those who have served. Veterans Day is a day made to honor all the millions of lives it took for us to earn our freedom. Veterans Day is a day to honor our family members and loved ones who have served, uh, like my grandpa who served in Vietnam. I just want to thank him and everyone else. So personally, I think that Veterans Day means that we should celebrate and commemorate all the veterans uh, for those who are serving and who have served. So thank you for your service. Uh, the freedom that I'm able to um, express and the freedom I'm able to do my math these days 
is thank you to the veterans that helped us, you know, help me get to where I am today. Thank you. Thank you, veterans. 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 Thank you for your service. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, veterans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, veterans. 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 Thank you to all the veterans. It's an honor to be a veteran. Thank you for all your service. Hello, thank you. Thank you, veterans. 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 Thank you to all of our veterans. Thank you.